to me broadcasting is not a job. It's a pleasure, but I do enjoy my time away from the station as well. I dabble in art, play backgammon, read the bestsellers, listen to old radio shows, make home movies, and collect pictures of wild animals. What? how that one get in there? Being single, I enjoy nightlife, meeting new people and dancing. Weekends are for traveling, but weekdays you'll find me in the wonderful world of action news. Here's Jack. Going up and cover Dan Hogan for Action Weather at 6 and 11. Thanks a lot. Good job, Jack. Well, I tell you what, we got a little variable cloudiness out there today. We sure did. Does that mean we should be expecting some rain anytime in the near future? Well, I would say tomorrow afternoon. We had some rain this morning, in fact. That's right. John was out jogging early That's this right. morning, as is his usual practice, and uh, he said he got all wet. He doesn't really? believe that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've just never seen you jog. That's because we're never up at that hour. All those people who work the late shift. But you anyway. actually were jogging? Yes, actually. Okay. <laughs> and you got wet? A little bit. Carry an umbrella, John. <laughs> the climate data today looked something like this. Today's high was 81 degrees after an overnight low of 68. And the temperature range there is just 13 degrees from the high to the low. Normally the highs are in the 70s and the lows in the 50s, so we are above normal. The record high for this date of 89 degrees occurred in the years 1927 and in 1965 with a record low of 33 degrees set back in 1971. Right now we've got some clouds out there and 78 degrees with that barometer rising from 29.73. Relative humidity stands at 69 percent. Winds are out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour and gusting occasionally to 19 miles per hour and the 24-hour rainfall total is 69 hundredths of an inch. Okay, let's check the old map and see what we've got. First of all, low pressure over the western half of Pennsylvania is causing quite a bit of rain up in New England today and also through portions of New York and down into the Washington, D.C. area as well. That low is also responsible for some snowfall today in the northern portions of New York State and Vermont, and it's also going to cause more snow in New England tonight, and a winter storm warning is in effect now for portions of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Maine for later on tonight. Now, this cold front out of low pressure over western Pennsylvania has been causing rain from northern Florida all the way up the Carolina coast into the D.C. area today, and a gale warning is in effect along the coast of North Carolina. They have had wind gusts there as high as 50 miles per hour this afternoon. The cold front trails on down through the Carolinas, central Georgia, northwest Florida, and into the Gulf of Mexico. And out west, another frontal system on the map today. A cold front extends out of Canada down through Montana and western Wyoming into a low-pressure cell over northwestern Utah. The cold front continues on down through southern Nevada and southern California. Now, that frontal system and the low-pressure area over Utah is going to put into effect for later on tonight a winter storm watch out in the western sections of Colorado and also it is causing some wind out in Nevada today. Let's check those sky conditions for you now and see how we've been doing around this old country of ours. Some rain up in Boston with 37 degrees today. It was raining in New York City. They managed to get up to 43 for the nation's capital. Some rain there and 47 degrees. Haze over St. Louis this afternoon with 40 degrees. Partly cloudy for Chicago. They got up to 37. Partly cloudy out in Denver today and 68 degrees there. Partly sunny for the Phoenix area and 77. A windy 73 out in Las Vegas, sunshine out in L.A. with 63 degrees, some cloud cover over Seattle. They managed 50 degrees. Let's check the weather satellite photo now. And there you see that old cold front moving eastward from 7 o'clock last night on into 7 o'clock today. And, of course, we got some prefrontal showers out of that already. And some more showers are cropping up in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon and also tomorrow night. We'll have more on that in just a moment. I really wish since it's the beginning of the week we had something better to look forward to than what's in the forecast, but let's check and find out just what's in there. First of all, for tonight, variable cloudiness and mild. 
And the low is going to be in the middle 50s. Tomorrow, look for variable cloudiness and a chance of showers and a few thunderstorms, I'm afraid. A 30% chance. The high tomorrow will reach 78 degrees. For tomorrow night, variable cloudiness with a chance of showers and a few thunderstorms. And again, a 30% chance. Tomorrow night's low, a little warmer than tonight's at 60 degrees. So for the first part of the week, it's variable cloudiness and that old chance of rain. Thunder showers, no uh, less. Yeah. I talked to some folks down in the southern part of the state, and they're yeah. crying for rain now. Are they? So, so we shouldn't feel bad about it. All right. Let's we'll, send some down. We'll okay. send it as soon as it's finished with us. We'll That's a good idea. Sell. We'll give them a shot down there. Thanks, Dan. All right. If you're shopping for quality name brand menswear, don't pass up these winter clearance prices at the Brown Bag. Where else can you get Aero long sleeve dress shirts, usually to $18 for only $7.99? Warm Gant flannel shirts, now only $18.99. And lots of stylish Gant long sleeve knits, only $12.99. Look at these three piece vested suits, Brown Bag priced at only $49.99. Incredible prices now during the Brown Bag's clearance sale in the Parkway Shopping Center. Well, it'll be a good idea to keep the umbrella handy tomorrow. More showers coming up, right, Dan? Right you are, John. And today we've got a mixed bag of weather, really, around the tri-state with a cold front dividing us in half. Variable cloudiness around the area and also a chance of rain up and coming tomorrow, it looks like. The temperature range at 4 o'clock today was from a low of 62 to a high of 86 degrees, so a rather broad temperature range for us this afternoon. And checking those temperatures now for Atlanta, 62 degrees in Savannah, 82. 80 for Dothan today, 81 degrees in Albany and Valdosta and in Thomasville, in fact. Over in Pensacola, it was 79 in Panama City, 71 degrees, and they had some fog late today. 75 degrees for Apalachicola in Jacksonville, 80, 81 in Daytona Beach, 76 for the Gainesville area, 84 down in Orlando and Disney World, 80 degrees for Tampa St. Pete down in Fort Myers, 82 degrees and in Miami, 86. Let's check our current conditions for you now. We've got some clouds out there. It's presently 74 degrees with that barometer rising from 29.73. Relative humidity in the high 60% range there. The wind southwesterly at 14, gusting as high as 19. On this day to 1958, 3.54 inches of rain fell on Tallahassee. The 24-hour rainfall for us today only reached 69 hundredths of an inch. Checking the tides for tomorrow at St. Mark's, high water at 109 in the morning and 125 in the afternoon with low tides at 7.15 a.m. and at 7.38 p.m. At Carabelle, look for high water at 108 in the morning and 137 tomorrow afternoon with lows there at 7.22 a.m. and 7.37 p.m. At Apalachicola, high tides at 2.33 in the morning and 3.02 tomorrow afternoon with low tides at 9.35 in the morning and 9.46 at night. At Alligator Point, high water at 1.24 a.m. and at 1.40 p.m. with low tides at 7.40 in the morning and 8.03 in the evening. The sea conditions tonight, 5 to 7 feet, a small craft advisory is in effect, decreasing to 3 to 5 feet tomorrow, however. Seawater temperature 70 degrees. The Action News forecast calls for variable cloudiness and mild weather tonight with a low in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, variable cloudiness and a chance of showers and a few thunderstorms, a 30% chance of those and a high expected of 78 degrees. Tomorrow night, variable cloudiness and still a chance of showers and a few thunderstorms and again a 30% chance, although tomorrow night will be near 60. The winds west-northwesterly around 15 miles per hour later tonight, becoming north-northeasterly at 10 to 15 miles per hour on Tuesday. And the sun will rise tomorrow morning at 6.16 and set in the evening at 7.02. And that's our look at the weather. Action News will continue in a moment. Seminole Toyota, the area's largest Toyota dealer, goes one step further. Now, with a total deal, car or truck, Seminole Toyota will guarantee you up to a $1,000 discount. That's right, up to a $1,000 discount. Now, you can get the number one selling import and up to a $1,000 discount on any total deal car or truck at Seminole Toyota, where the deals keep getting better. And if you're not happy with this deal, ask for the Colonel. 
President Carter's recent success in the Middle East doesn't seem to be having much an effect on American people. Opinion polls show that the president's popularity is down on domestic issues. Brian Bassett of the Seattle Times has this comment in today's cartoonatorial. And again, our top story tonight, the Civic Center seeks more funding. Dan? Variable cloudiness in the forecast with a chance of rain up and coming tomorrow. Tom? FAMU wins a baseball game and Lou Brock announces his retirement. John? And that's our show for this time. Have a nice evening. <laughs>